Assalamualaikum and very good morning class. Our lecture today is on Exponential Fourier Series Part 2. The slide here shows the sync function for general rectangular pulse signals and the sync square function for general triangular pulse signal. Okay, we proceed with pulses and impulses. As discussed earlier, periodic functions such as rectangular, sawtooth, and etc. have many applications in electrical engineering. Functions, pulse signal gener generators, produce such pulse trains as we discussed earlier. Pulse trains are often used to transmit binary numbers. Other use are such as for finite duration signal processing, discrete time signal modeling, digital signal processing, speech processing and coding, and pattern recognition. Because of its importance, we will revisit and examine the exponential Fourier series expansion of rectangular and rect triangular pulse strain. The rectangular pulse revisited. These are the equation that we finally get from example 7.3. If you look at the signals, the coefficients xn exhibit the following features. xn is a real and even function of n, decreasing with n. The plot xn has, a, has an infinite alternating positive and negative lobes whose amplitudes decrease with n. The major part of power in the signal is concentrated at lower frequencies. The DC value or average of pulse strain x0 equal tau over t. For tau equal tau over 2, the Fourier series becomes as in shown in the equation and the expansion is uh, as shown in the next equation. As pul ne pulse narrows, its spectrum broadens. This is uh, demonstrated in the next slide. Okay, the time plots on the left show one cycle of one hertz periodic rectangular train with pulse duration of 0 0.5 in A, 0 0.2 in B and 0 0.1 in C. The time origin has been chosen so that the pulse are even functions of time. Their exponential Fourier coefficients are therefore real valued and showed in the right column respectively as the impulse narrows its frequency spectrum broadens. From example 7.5, we have the XT equation for triangular pulse signals and the XN equations as well. The coefficients xn for triangle, triangular pulse strain exhibit the following features. xn is real and even function of n, decreasing with n. It is always non-negative. It extends over the infinite frequency range. The DC value or average of pulse strain is x at 0 equal to tau over 2t. For tau over t over 2, the Fourier series become xn as shown in the equation and xt in the next equation. Compared to the transform of rectangular pulse, the mathematical expression of xf for triangular pulse indicates the lobe attenuate faster with increased frequency. Figure 7.9 shows the time plots on the left for one cycle of one hertz periodic triangular pulse strain with pass duration of tau 0 0.5 for A, 0 0.2 for B, and 0 0.1 for C. The time origin has been set so that the pulse are even function. Their exponential Fourier coefficients are therefore real valued and are shown in the right column, respectively. As the pulse narrows, the frequency spectrum broadens. Thank you, class. Most of the materials in these slides are from Navi Signals and System, Megro Hills International Edition 2014. Thank you.